What got you interested in art history? Well, I've been interested in art since I was a child. I drew incessantly from the age of three, and uh, my parents couldn't uh, keep enough paper in the house. Uh, and I took art lessons, uh, private art lessons in watercolor uh, from an aunt who was also a watercolor artist for several years as a teenager. And uh, and began college as an art major, actually, as a, undeclared, but taking all, all art studio courses. Oh, so you weren't even sure? What, right. Oh, point. no, no, definitely not. So, well, the problem was, and I wanted to major, I wanted to remain a studio major, but... Um, my uh, my mother advised that there may not be much sort of professional opportunity yeah, right, sure. uh, <laughs> in becoming an artist and, uh, and and financial reward for that career choice. So good point. So I went into art education. I got my bachelor's degree uh, in art education, and uh, then decided that uh, public schools felt too institutional. It's actually as much an aesthetic choice as anything else, and eventually. Uh, got my master's in art history, became very interested in art history, and um, taking independent study courses actually in Asian art, Asian and 19th century art, so, uh, and then it just sort of took off from mm -hmm. there. And what are your research interests? My research interests are the intersections of art and technology in the context of the Cold War. Um, I'm particularly looking at the work of women artists who, um, deal with technology as uh, technology and science as sort of cultural context in this period that was uh, very richly engaged in, in questions of, in, in, in scientific questions and questions of technology in the context of particularly the Vietnam War from say, from late 1960s to the mid 1980s. So um, the Vietnam War sort of begat uh, a, a counterculture and um, was informed by new left rhetoric that uh, that uh, rejected sort of this 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 triad this this association between the government the military the military and industry and in the creation of, of, de of destructive technologies that also represented U.S. domination. So these artists are dealing with those issues, but at the same time they utilize they utilize technology in the form of video, for example, in their work with utopian aspirations for its ability to change the condition of women in the context of the feminist movement. They also engage scientific theories like um, uh, like quantum physics, for example, with its inherent uncertainty principle to undermine the absolute um, mm -hmm. the absolute sort of qualities of, 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 of classical mechanics, right? That we live in an absolute world. Instead, it is changing and shifting, which provides additional opportunities for women, again, in the context of the feminist movement. So that's, those are some of the issues that I engage in my research. Wow, that's interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.